if someone can't play this case of Kawhi, then they could assert you into that role. How do you, how do you feel about that? And is that something you even thought about tonight? Kawhi's not here. I need to be more assertive. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm like I'm blessed to be able to like change it up and, and be a facilitator or a scorer. I've been doing it throughout the course of my career um, at an elite like level. You know what I mean? So. I just me come my mindset coming to this team was do whatever it takes to win and get to the to the end goal and whether it's that scoring or uh, facilitating, I think it goes by possession by possession by possession and, and game by game. And I think throughout the course of the regular season, I had glimpses where I scored the basketball, or I had glimpses where I had double digit assists. So um, to answer your question, you know, game one we knew Kawhi was out and I had to be more aggressive. Tonight we knew Kawhi was was out, I had to be more aggressive, um, and so. It's pretty simple for me. James, uh, you and PG, Luca, and Kyrie did all the scoring in clutch time today. What was that like where you four are going back shot after shot after shot? The show. <laughs> it was like, this is the show. It was like elite, skilled, it, you know, Hall of Fame basketball players going, going at it. You know what I mean? And it's only, it's only so much you can do defensively. You know what I mean? Then you got you got to worry about other guys scoring the basketball and, and – you know, all of us are, are, are obviously scorers, but we can pass the ball as well. So it makes it a little bit difficult. So I think it was just whoever comes up, comes up with the stop. And I think we were, we were the ones that got the stop consecutively, consecutively and when we needed to. And that was the game right there. You also hit five floaters there in the fourth. You would only hit one the entire series prior to that. What did you see that you could go to? They, were, they weren't helping. You know what I mean? So that shot was there, something I work on uh, consistently. I had a couple more opportunities where I passed them up and, you know, the fourth quarter and then those last five minutes, I just, you know, I had to shoot him. When you look at the fact that, like, you look at your 76er series against the Celtics, you had those big games yep. early in that series. You're in the same spot, you know. Um, like, what's it like for you to just be as poised as you are, have that experience, and then take it for your, to help your, your teammates going forward the rest of the series? Um, I think we've seen the blueprint. You know, what I mean, and what it's going to take in, in order to beat this team. So, for us, it's just you know watching film, getting better, and, and figuring out, and finding ways to can do it, to do it consistently throughout the course of a four quarter game. Easier said than done, but um, you know, for us, I think it's just we can't have any wasted possessions because this team is so gifted offensively; they can make you pay for it. So, for us, it's just making sure that we get the shot that we want. Uh, turnovers, we had twelve, which is still too many. You know what I mean? And and uh, and that's how we live with the results. As long as we can get a shot up, we live with the results. And then, you know, almost mentioning the floaters and everything, like we saw you work on that shot, but, you know, you played in a system where there were no mid-range, and it's like you, you have all the mid-range. I was able to shoot mid-range. Yeah. I just didn't shoot them. But some guys, guys where it's like, how do you, like we saw you adjust your game because of the way things are going defensively in the playoffs. Like, how are you able to keep downloading, you know, what teams are going to give you and take advantage? Adjustments, if you just said it. If you can't make adjustments, if you can't, you know, change the game and still be effective, then you you know, you know probably won't make it to the next round. You know what I mean? You won't probably go, you, you probably won't get far. So for me, it's the adjustment. You know, off, offensively, I got the three ball. They want to take try to take away the three ball. You know, I get to the paint and I got my mid range or I got the floater or if they want to come up and, and, and over help, then I got my pass. And so it's like a, it's a four step process that you, you gotta, you gotta think about and it all happens so fast to where, uh, you know, majority of the time I make the right decision. What's the challenge now for game five? No one here is going to play. We kind of focus on what we have, like, you know what I mean? We, we're going to let you guys talk about if Kawhi plays or not. You know what I mean? I think our focus is, you know, if Kawhi plays, obviously we know how great he's our best player. You know what I mean? But if he doesn't, you know, we still got to go out there and win a game. And I think for game one and game or tonight gave us confidence. Yeah, you know, you talked about. We obviously know you guys are a group of professionals, but what level of open communication does it take for you guys to maintain composure and show that resiliency that you guys did tonight? Uh, we're vet we're a veteran a squad, and I think a lot of us has been through tough situations throughout the course of our career. So that that's a bonus right there. It helps us to where things go. Like, you know, we we up 25, 30 points. I can't remember the number, but you know, any t any team another or other team or majority of the teams in this league that gives up that big old, big old lead. Uh, and then they, the Dallas takes the lead. It's like, uh, like we can't win anymore. You know what I mean? But we get a shot. PG makes a tough shot. Keep our composure and get some stops. And 
Um, that's what it takes in the playoffs. Like everything isn't going to be perfect, but you just got to win by one point. James, I know you said that in the games without Kawhi, you kind of came into it with a more aggressive scoring mindset, but it also seemed throughout the course of this game that you kind of turned it on late, like when you recognized that they needed you to be more of a scorer. Is that something that you feel like you have the ability to flip the switch, even if it's mid-game? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't, like, I don't, first of all, I don't take it for granted, and second, I don't, like, and like, like doing it. Like, I would have wanted to be aggressive throughout the course of a whole game and, you know what I mean, and do my thing the whole game. But, you know, throughout the course of games, things happen. You know, other guys get going to where you got to just take a, uh, a seat back, you know what I mean, or whatever the case may be. Um, you know, so you just got to wait. And then when the opportunity presents, presents itself, um, you got to do what you do. Guys question. getting going, uh, PG got it going, obviously, in the first half. Do you, do you expect that? <laughs> what was it like? Being the, out there? That's at least warm, man. It's... it's it's a show, you know what I mean? It's where we can get the stops. And, you know, like, luckily we got the stops when we needed to. But, you know, Kai, well, yeah, 40. Luka, triple-double. Like, these guys are, are elite. Elite. Let's get ready for Hoop Jab.